Today on The Daily Dose, how to make a microchip. Used in almost everything humans rely on in their day-to-day lives. To make a microchip, you begin with raw polysilicon heated to 1,420 degrees Celsius inside a vacuum-sealed furnace purged of oxygen. The molten silicon is then spun in a centrifuge before a pencil-thin silicon seed crystal is lowered into the soup while spinning in the opposite direction. As the molten polysilicon is allowed to cool, the seed crystal is withdrawn at approximately 1 16th of an inch per minute, resulting in a single and quite massive silicon crystal weighing upwards of 440 pounds with a diameter of nearly 8 inches. The crystal is then carefully reoriented and sliced into razor-thin wafers of pure silicon, two-thirds of a millimeter thick. The wafers are then placed in a lapping polisher, followed by a secondary chemical buffing that results in a product that lacks any appreciable surface roughness. The wafers are then transported to a fabrication center, where they undergo some 1,500 processing steps from start to finish, all within a Class I clean room environment approximately 1,000 times cleaner than a hospital operating room. Since a single particle of dust can prove catastrophic to the health of a microchip, throughout the processing cycle, chips are further isolated from dust-producing workers through the use of front-opening unified pods, or FOOPs, which vary wafers from machine to machine through their processing cycle. While the first microchip had one transistor and three resistors, on its semiconductor base. Today's chips pack billions of transistors on wafers as small as four nanometers, including Apple's 2022 release of their M1 Ultra chip, which boasts a staggering 114 billion transistors on a five nanometer base. To achieve such incredible transistor density on such tiny platforms requires a process known as photolithography where chips are coated with photosensitive chemicals, which harden when exposed to UV light. Transferred into a sealed darkroom, light is shown through an image of a chip's intended circuit design, beamed through a miniaturizing lens, which then etches the design onto the coated wafer. The FOOPs repeat this photo etching process as many as 40 times under a variety of different layering techniques, creating silicon wafers that sport as many as 1,000 microchips per finished wafer with over 4,000 billion circuit elements, making the modern microchip a vital mainstay of 21st century life. And there you have it. How to make a microchip today in the Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with the Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.